hello and welcome back to my channel thank you all for coming back and tuning in all my new subscribers thank you so much all my old subscribers thank you and the newcomers if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please click on the subscription button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video okay today i want to talk about a chemical called clobetasol. sol is a topical or uh, chemical substance that is used for the skin. It has its ups and downs, it pros and cons as much as every other thing. Most people use it for their creams and promising without actually knowing the downside, the disadvantage of using clobetasol. Clobetasol is actually a medication and it's a prescription that is supposed to be prescribed by a dermatologist, a skin expert, not just a promix or no, please. It's a professional dermatologist that needs to prescribe clobetasol for you. And clobetasol is meant to be used topically on the skin for a certain amount of time. Once you exceed that amount of time, look, it's going to be detrimental to your skin. You will even like you will hate your skin so much because whatever you were trying to treat with the clobetasol it's going to be like worse times two for instance if you're trying to treat malaria and you're given a malaria prescription for a certain amount of time when the amount of say the time frame for your medication is passed you can't, like, on your own, just go and buy another malaria drugs and keep taking it and taking it because you're trying to prevent malaria not to come back again. You get the point. So you using clobetasol more than the prescription period of time is detrimental. And that is abuse. Like, you're abusing the medication, the drugs. So it's more like a topical drug abuse. So most of them, it's in liquid form, most of them is in tube, cream form, but both are used topically. For the liquid one, you see some people put it in the mixing, pro-mixing of their soaps. Some people go as far as putting it in the cream. I, I don't, I don't, pardon my French, I don't mess with this product, honestly. If you want to lighten, say you're trying to promix and you want, by the way, any tube cream you want to use for your promixing, cream, fair, body cream, face cream, etc., look at the ingredients on the pack. If it says clobetasol, please know this, bear this in mind. Do not use that cream for more than two weeks that is the least like the, the maximum time you can use it for because once you start using it you start seeing your skin glowing yes it's doing its job but once you use it for more than that two weeks <laughs> sis you will hate your skin that's when you start uh if you bought the cream you start going to back to your cell i mean like oh that cream you gave me in fact it's made my skin worsen yes your skin will worsen and it will keep getting worse if you keep using it so if you want to use your clobetasol tube for instance like this uh, glutathione injection tube uh apple veeds just look on the pack of the uh, tube cream. Once you see clobetasol, there's sometimes you see clobetasol like 0.5 percent, blah blah blah, whatever percentage. The fact remains the same. Look at this uh, article I got online and I pasted, and just read them. You can pause the video and read through the notes on the screen. 
there you will see a lot of details from a professional medical practitioner given a detail of how you can use clopetasol and like the risk factors the like please just go through it pause this video go through it and read it for your own good so my dear i don't mix with this product by the way this clopetasol is the number one chemical that gives white spots this is what gives white spot there might be other things as well but that's for another video but right now we're talking about clopetasol this gives white spots if you're noticing that you're having white spots from any pro mixed uh, product you're using it is as a result of clopetasol 110 percent so if you're using clopetasol in your soap for instance you use it because it's it's good in a way more I, I prefer if one mixes it with their soap because that way you're just uh, applying it on the skin and rinsing it off you're not like leaving it on your skin for hours on end you know like the whole day going about your daily you know no you're using it on your skin and you're washing it off so that's like okay but if you must put it in your cream <laughs> which you're going to apply on your skin and leave on your skin for donkey hours that can job please <laughs> just just bear in mind write the date somewhere jot it down that you started using it and do not do not i repeat do not let it exceed two weeks as in 14 days better still 10 days to be on the safer side and before you get to that 14 days or 10 days already start just push it so start making another cream for your face or your body this clobetasol is what gives green veins white uh, dots on your legs and even blemish it makes it like this thing just scatters the skin because then your skin is like choked up and overdosed with this clobetasol that it can't take it's sick even when you drink too much water water is good for your health when you drink too much water you can't breathe you're like overly full if you eat too much food no matter how sweet it is and you eat overdose like you can imagine how you will feel you won't be comfortable so imagine giving your skin these drugs i will call it a drug a medication imagine giving this to your skin overdose ah, your skin will react okay it will so i think i've passed the message and somehow i might have help a few people understand better so mostly your product whatever you're promixing I'm sorry you this is a disclaimer and I'm not trying to spoil business for nobody I am just saying what I know from research I have been a victim of white dots too when new products come out as a a <laughs> pro mixer you know the first thing you want to like oh this ah let me try this one let me try this one then you start to wonder okay what went wrong in this product why is it reacting this way why is my client complaining why is it you know then you start doing your research i don't just mix bubu tibu and uh, give to people that like, no i use what i mix as well so kindly do yourself a favor save your skin because you're going to wear it for life help your clients save your business and research your ingredient ingredients sorry excuse me i will even suggest go online google and find out more do more research on this club and get full details and digest it to the maximum it will do you good. I hope I have passed the message and this is all I have for now. So thank you all for being patient and listening to my blabbing. And <laughs> so uh, 
Thank you all. And uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? This is an educative channel. I am here to share with you my knowledge and pass it on. Okay? No holds barred. So you're missing out if you don't subscribe. And thank you for all those who have subscribed for sticking with me. More videos to come. God bless you.